have you ever wondered why conflict occurs in your team or why your employees complain? This is something all managers know about. Experts show that employees want a task-oriented leadership style to thrive as employees. This comes back to Maslow's hierarchy of need that he presented back in 1943. The first three levels are the ones to pay attention to access to toilet, food, water and sex. This is regulated by your hypothalamus in your brain. You need to feel safe as a team member within the group. This comes back to honesty and humility in the Hexaco test. This refers to psychological safety and safety from being cancelled or talked behind your back. It is referred to as female indirect aggression, and this is something girls learn at six years of age and mainly targets other girls or women. Workplaces are not excluded from this. Some men also use this type of aggression. Negative emotions is your mental and physical pain, and it resides in your personality trait of neuroticism or emotionality. This personality trait is also known as your pain circuit and can be described as mentally stable or unstable. If you're unstable, then you react and blow things out of proportion every time you get triggered. If you are mentally stable, then you do not react in a bad manner and people do not have to mentally prepare before they talk to you. If you are medium to high in eroticism as a manager, you will trigger neuroticism in your employees. That means you're forcing your employees to walk on eggshells around you. That also signals that you might have mental problems such as borderline bipolar disorder or that you are a vulnerable narcissist. You as the manager are creating negative emotions in your employees. Either way, your emotionally stable and low in neuroticism employees will start looking for another job. You will be stuck with the ones that can't get a job elsewhere, which are most likely not the productive employees and therefore you will not perform as well and not meet your targets. There is a big chance the malicious individuals are staying behind in the team, creating even more havoc. This will make your manager fire you due to incompetence as a manager. That's the second explanation and reason you should not seek a job as a manager if you are medium to high in neuroticism. The third explanation is the effect on human health. Negative emotions increase people's blood pressure. When people are in fight or flight mode, flight is the default normal emotion in humans. The blood pressure goes up above 140 and if you're putting your employees in that situation every single day, you are slowly killing them indirectly, simply by you being their manager. That in turn is killing the person's heart and neurotic individuals do not live as long as emotionally stable people. So you need to ask yourself these simple questions before you take a job as a manager or have that as a goal in life. Do you really want to be a manager? Do you really want to have that on your conscience? Are you low in honesty and humility? Do you really want to be a therapist making horrible choices? The second leadership style that people want to have in their manager is relationship management. First explanation of this is to have the ability to listen properly. If you do not understand the methodology of listening, which is a primary component of the role as a manager, you will not be trusted to do your job. Listening is the basis of communication. To be a good communicator, you need to understand others completely. That is done by summarizing what the other person just said to validate that you in fact did understand him or her. Only when you got the sign that you have understood, you can start thinking of your reply to that. The second explanation is always be available during work hours. This is the classic one that all interviewers with subtlety ask when you are interviewed for a leadership role. Do you work with your door opened or closed? They want to know if your employees can contact you to clarify how the task should be done. Comes back to the task management style. If you're not available, and most employees complain about this in all workplaces since the manager is always in useless meetings all day and every day. If your door is not open and you are unavailable, you cannot listen actively and lower your employees' neuroticism. Whether you like it or not, Lower your employees' neuroticism is a huge part of being a successful manager. The third explanation is to create trust by being honest and humble. 
This is measured by the Hexaco test and is fairly simple to identify in people. If you're low in honesty and humility, you are low in greed avoidance, which you see in the way of dressing and so on. They have low morality and lie, deceive and manipulate you. They are also the opposite of modest in that you will see the arrogance and non-empathetic way of talking in their callous words in front of everyone. Usually goes hand in hand with being disagreeable to everything. If you're low in honesty and humility, you have most probably psychopathic, narcissistic, Machiavellian and sadistic behaviors. Managers is the last job you should apply for or have, and it is only a matter of time until your employees will see this and the one with connections will call your manager and out you. And I've seen it happen. Please spare everyone by not applying for a managerial position if low in honesty and humility. A fun thing just happened. I wrote this article and three days after a former employee of mine in my last contract as lead UX designer and product owner reached out to me due to a bad manager in this new contract. I gave him my professional assessment of what the manager is as a personality what he can expect. That manager's manager have gotten the information about his behavior from an employee and it's only a matter of time. That manager is high in neuroticism as a man, most likely a vulnerable narcissist based on the behavior. You need to be honest, humble, good at listening, and if you are reactive, you need to seek help so that you don't abuse others. If you watched this far, I appreciate that you're watching. Please hit like and subscribe and write a comment about what it was with this video that you appreciated. And I will most hopefully see you in the next one. Thanks.